solve the question on calendars, there is a concept which is known as odd days. In a particular period, the number of days more than a complete week are called as odd days. Odd days can also known as remaining days or the extra days. That is, suppose there are 10 days. In 10 days, there are only 3 odd days. How? This is 10 days is equals to 1 week plus 3 days. So these 3 remaining days is known as odd days. Let's check how to calculate the number of odd days. Suppose it is given 12 days. Always divide the given days by 7. Why 7? Because a week contains 7 days. So if we divide 12 days by 7, then there will be 1 week and 5 days. What is this 5? From where the 5 came from? The 5 is the remainder. If we divide 12 by 7, then there will be 1 week and 5 days. So these 5 days are the odd days. Let's check another example. 36 days. So 36 days is equal to 5 week and 1 day. What is this 1? 1 is the remainder. So 1 will be the odd day. So, if a question is given that 36 days, then how many odd days in 36 days period? So, there will be only one odd day because there will be 5 week and the remainder will be 1. Another example, 365 days. As we seen earlier, 365 days is equal to a one complete ordinary year. So, in a ordinary year, in one ordinary year, there are 52 weeks plus one day. How did we get this? Just by dividing 365 by 7, so we'll get the 52 weeks and one day. One will be the remainder, so one day. So, we can say that in an ordinary year, there is only one odd day. But in a leap year, that is in 366 days, there are two odd days. That is 52 weeks plus two odd days. One thing should be remembered, the number of odd days can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. The maximum limit is 6. 7 days cannot be odd days because if we divide 7 by 7 itself, then this will be 1 week. So, number of odd days can be 0 to 6. Let's check the number of odd days in every month. So, there are 12 months as we all know. And I guess you all might be aware that how to memorize the number of days in a month. We all we already learned in our preschools. That is the knuckles. We can count from the knuckles. It is January, February, March, April. So this will be 31. In February it is 28 days. Then 31, 30, 31, 30. So this way we can memorize. January 31, February 28. And these are the number of days. These are the number of odd days. How to calculate the number of odd days? That is 31. I am giving just one example. 31 divided by 7. So the remainder will be 3. The 3 odd days. So this is the list of all the odd days of every month. Easily we can remember this list if there are 31 days in any month. In any month if there are 31 days then the number of odd days will be 3. And in any month, if there are 30 days, then the number of odd days will be 2. Easily we can remember the entire chart. But in February, there will be 
zero orders that is twin this is the table of the ordinal year not the leap year because in the leap year there will be 29 days so there will be one extra odd day here because 29 divided by 7 the remainder will be 1 but in the ordinary year there are only 28 days and if we divide 28 divided by 7 if we divide 28 by 7 then the remainder will be 0 and the number of odd days will be 0. So this is a chart of odd days in every month. The last column is cumulative odd days. Uh, you all might be aware the cumulative which we learned in the stats the cumulative frequency is the same. Cumulative odd days uh, we will start from here 3 then this is here then 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. This 3 plus this 3 is equal to 6. This 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. But if we divide 8 by 7, the remainder will be 1. So there will be the cumulative odd days is equal to 1. Similarly, the table continues. Let's check odd days for the century. Let's learn how to calculate the odd days for the century years. In a 100 years, there are 24 leap years and 76 ordinary year. As we learned, in every ordinary year, there is only one odd day, while in every leap year, there are two odd days. So, 76, how many odd days? 1 into 1. Plus 24. In a leap year there are 2 ordinary days. So into 2. If we get the sum of this then there will be 124 odd days. 76 into 1 plus 24 into 2. This will equal to 124 odd days. So if somebody asks to calculate the number of odd days in a century that is in the 100 years we have this is the formula 76 these are the number of ordinary years in a century and these are the number of leap years in a century and these are the number of odd days number of odd days in an ordinary year number of odd days in a leap year so total 124 odd days but again 124 Divided by 7 because for calculating the, because just a few minutes back we learned that ordinary days can be from 0 to 6. So, 124 divided by 7, this is equals to 17 weeks plus 5 days. So therefore we can say that in a century, in century years there are five odd days. In 100 years there are five odd days. Let's calculate the number of odd days in 200 years. Number of odd days in 200 years. This is equals to just a minute back we learned that there are 5 odd days in 100 years. So therefore 5 into 2. 5 into 2 why? Because we are going to calculate the number of odd days for 200 years. So therefore 5 into 2 is equals to 10. But 10 cannot be number of odd days. Right. So we have to divide 10 by 7. So the remainder will be 3. Therefore, 3 or days in every 200 years. Similarly, number of odd days for 300 years. This will be equals to 5 into 3. 300 years, so 5 into 3. This will be 15. But if we divide 15 by 7, then the number of odd days will be only 1 because there will be 2 weeks. Only 1 odd day. Right? But this is not the case with the 400 year. 
you might remember that 400 itself is a leap year. You all know that every leap year has one extra day. So for the 400, we'll calculate 5 into 4 plus 1. From where this 1 came? Just I mentioned that in every leap year, there is one extra day. So 5 into 4, 20, 20 plus 1, 21, 21 divided by 7. Remainder is 0. So therefore, every 400 years, the remainder is 0. And this shows that there isn't any odd day. 0 odd days. Same is the case with... 800 years, 1200, 1600, 2000 and so on. Thank you.